Marcus all in with his short stack, Kings. More than good enough. Ivan with a call from the big at ace 10. Even though it was reluctant for such a short stack, it does have to make it. Queen 10 10, and there you go. Marcus's face says it all. Ivan out flopping the Brazilian. And Queen on the turn gives him a couple more outs, but not to be. Three of hearts seals his fate. Ivan knocks out another one. Wouldn't mind getting in a race here, would he? I hope maybe one of the blinds finds a rag ace. Well, I'm going to say, ahead. you would call... Uh, well, I mean, well, well, he's in another race. Flip number two. So now we would like the other Anthony to win this, just for, just for fairness. And Radha Slaw actually had the hand he wants to be up against. Pocket threes. Whoa. He would be folding, obviously, as we've got two Anthony's all in when the action has he's got to. again? What you got there? So. Yeah, we're flipping again. Do not Thank adjust you. your television sets. Yeah. They're not broken. It is Anthony please. versus Anthony all in again. It gives Barney a chance to, uh, yeah, well, to play at Anthony's like you're going to win again. Yeah, right. This time we're coming to seven. Oh, we're running, running out of jokes we can make in the spot. Yeah. Finish him. Wow, oh, and he has again oh. outflopped Mr. Clancy. It's not quite over yet. There you oh, go. Oh, there, there it go. is, the six. Oh. Yep. And as you say, I don't think we can begrudge that. No, we can't. And I, 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 even Anthony Romanello is very, you know, smiling about it. He you knows it's fair enough, you know, and uh, he's right back in it now. Jam from him. Yeah, there's certainly margin for error. Does move it all in, and Leon surely has to fold for seven million chips. I never say never with Leon. He thinks his opponent has ace king. He certainly will call. Well, he does make the call. Like what I was saying with Leon, you never quite know. Besides, I only called because of fives. I win today on the fives. So. <laughs> yeah, fives are lucky. Yeah, they were lucky. Yeah. Well, he'd call because fives were lucky earlier. Five in the window. Isaac needs running diamonds to survive here. Well, here's Sage One. Deuce or seven would be a chop. And it is a diamond on the end. Uh, Leon said himself, it's unbelievable. Diamond, diamond, run out. Two hands in a row, we see a diamond, diamond, run out. Oh, wow. What timing this is for Keith to look down at aces in the big blind. We may see the biggest pot of the tournament here. Three of the big stacks going at it. Makes the raise seven million. Well, Leon will feel a little sick seeing the action come from that seat, but surely... No option but to jam here. Small end. Does make the move. Keith, of course, snap calls with aces. And a 41 million chip pot. Terrible. They can mix an end to the shuffles. What is the difference with shuffling? Leon in need of a lot of help here. We saw seven, eight of spades folded. He needs to find a straight flush or trip kings. Wow, king, king, jack. Unbelievable. Moaning about the setup deck a second ago. Has Keith Lear drawing to just one out. Unbelievable here on this feature table. One card away from taking the tournament chip lead. Four on the end completes the very unlikely suck out. Sorry, man. Just emotions. Nothing. There we go. I just like couldn't handle my Going very well for Dykoff, though, who's still stacking from the last hand. Mm -hmm. Action on him for 6,000. Dykoff in there with a puncher's chance, I guess. Mm hmm. I like that, a punter's chance. Tony G, does he does he get, 
get Delta a card under a 10? Not tonight. <laughs> King 10. There's another raise, small blind from Tony G, and Gregory's got a re-raising hand. Wow. And and David Gregory has seen his fair share of hands tonight too, so it's it's no coincidence that these two are are the chip leaders at the table. They've been being dealt the hands. Re raise. Now he's putting it to Tony G on the re raise. Yeah, how big is this re raise gonna be? Looks like about thirty. Thirty more. Thirty thousand more in the face of Tony G. If Tony G calls here, he will have position on Gregory. Right. Yep, and Tony oh. G does call. If there is a weakness in Tony G's game, it is the play before the flop calling raises with inferior hands. Action will be on Gregory. He's hit hard. Wow. Top two. Oh. Jack. Oh, oh, that's oh my goodness. Gregory's trapped him. He trapped him, and Tony G fell right in the pit. Oh man, look, you see, he shakes it. He just. And, it, and against the second okay. chip leader, you know, you cannot do that. That all happened so fast, Kenna. And Tony wow. G down to a jack now. Gregory's got two pair. Tony G praying for a jack on the turn of the river. The turn is a king. He's got two extra outs now. Any jack, any king. Anything else. To the Gregory, river. This, yeah. it, this is a very big swing here in this match. Gregory can barely move. Oh. It's a jack! <laughs> oh my goodness! That is incredible. David Gregory has been one of the unluckiest men in televised poker. That form continues. What a hand he played. Wow. I mean, luckily, I'm he better green. change the color of that shirt because green well, is certainly not lucky for him. That was absolutely incredible. He played the hand perfect.